and keep standing poses are part of every yoga sequence. These involve warrior two, triangle pose, and very many variations. Also the our classical half moon poses. So it's good to know how to do this safely because there's a lot of people having different hip injuries and saying that these are yoga injuries. They're not yoga injuries, they're just injuries because you were exercising in a wrong way. We want to avoid that, we want to have a safe practice, so let's see how these work. So in order to understand open hip poses, let's first understand the wide-legged poses. When you're on your mat and you go for the wide-legged position, prasarita, what happens is that the hips are still square, the hips, the hip points are still facing forward. What changes with the open hip poses is that the front hip opens up forward. And it's important to have that idea that the left leg stays where it was. Or sometimes it can even bring the left heel back a little so that the left hip faces slightly forward. This is to protect your hips because hip injuries often occur when you're trying to have these two opposite actions and when you're trying to really open up on both sides and then bring weight to one side and that's dangerous. So let's keep the left leg neutral just like it was in the wide-legged pose and just the front leg moves forward. This is one of the most important things and then the next thing is to press the feet down. It's very important to press feet down otherwise you will start feeling some weird feelings on your knees and you don't want to hurt your knees. So press the back foot down, especially the outer foot, so that you engage the whole leg and you're able to protect the left knee. Otherwise, you might start feeling some unease on the outside of the back knee. And if that happens, make sure that you press the back outer foot down. With the front, for the front foot, you also want to press the whole foot down, inner foot, outer foot, and the center of the heel so that you're engaging the thigh and then you're picking up everything like we learned how to do so that the core is strong, the torso is compact and ready for everything and then you're invincible. So you raise the arm, short legs back and down and you engage the front. This is warrior two pose. Let's stay here, four or five. Make sure the front knee is on top of the front heel or towards there, but not rotating sideways and not coming further in front. Four, four. Press both heels down. Engage all the muscles of the legs and pick up the pubic bone, pick up the breastbone. Four, three. Shoulder blades back and down, head facing forward, gaze beyond the front middle finger, four, two. And one more time, feel like you're pulling yourself in all directions, pressing feet down, pulling away through the fingertips and pulling up through the bindu point, the top back of the skull, four, one. From here, let's just reverse the warrior. So turn the palm of the front hand upwards and exhale, bring the back hand to the shin or to the thigh. This is enough, you don't need to go low. And you bring again the shoulder blades back and down and then the front arm, you straighten it, you bring the fingers together and you add the lateral stretch, just like in our warm-up. Let's stay here for three. Press feet down, press front heel down to pick up the right knee, navel in and out, chest up, four, two, and inhale to the right chest, right shoulder. Exhale, shoulder blades back and down, relax the head, four, one. 
inhale back to center, gaze forward. Next exhale, side angle, bring the right elbow to the right knee, left arm up for three. The other variation is to bring the hand overhead and add the lateral stretch here too. Shoulder blades down, head relaxed for two. And the other variation is to bring the right hand in, shoulder blades back and down for one. You can release the hand, that's actually the Bikram triangle, and from here press it down, bring navel in and up and come up, straighten the front leg and bring the left foot in a hair for Trikonasana Triangle Pose. From here, that's also an important point, if you want to go to Triangle Pose, don't pull yourself forward so much, it's all about that zip. So keeping everything engaged, pick up the pelvic floor, the perineum, the cervix, close the ribs, navel in and up, and from there it's just hinging, 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 hinging. Bring the right hand to the right shin, or if you're more flexible, you can even grab the big toe with your index and middle fingers. You can relax the head again, so that we don't put a lot of pressure on the head. If you want to gaze up, you can gaze back at the big toe and then up to find the right neck position. Four, five. Shoulder blades back and away from the head. Bring the point forward, four, four. Press back, heel down. Squeeze left back cheek, navel in and forward, chest forward. Four, three. Again, pull yourself through the hands, left fingers together, pull up through the left fingertips. Four, two. Press outer back foot down, press front inner foot down, and pick yourself up, left shoulder back, right shoulder forward, shoulder blades towards the back. Four, one. Lower belly in to come up strong and then windmill the arms down, bend the front knee a bit. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, press feet down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, come forward. Exhale, fold. Press feet down to inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to chest. Then you can repeat on the other side, but this was more for the practical information. The most important thing is to have awareness of what's happening on the legs so that you have a strong base. And then once you have that strong base and you have all the banda engagements of the deep core, all the locks, the root lock, the stomach lock, your uh, torso is also safe. So make sure you have these engagements. Another good engagement to think about is the Kadu Banda, hip lock to lead the femurs, the leg bones into the hip sockets, into the pelvis, so that you have that strength and that compact engagement that keeps you safe. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful, beautiful day and see you